Hey, what's up, guys? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely great, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Flip. And in this episode of Tech Flip, I'm going to show you is MacBook Air 2017 a good device for video editing? So it's been a couple of months that I made a video where I just reviewed the MacBook Air. How is it, and is it good in 2019? So all the basic stuffs. And in that video, a lot of you guys commented that is MacBook Air 2017 a good device to buy in 2020? to edit videos i use this macbook air as my primary device to edit all the videos as you can see this video is also being edited on this computer so this macbook air 2017 is still powerful only for final cut pro x not for premiere pro not for other applications so final cut pro x is still optimized what kind of video editing you can do on macbook air 2017 if i want to talk about video editing on final cut pro x then this device is good so let me give you which applications is going to run on this macbook air 2017 pretty good so number 1 final cut pro x this is the best and the most suitable application for any kind of mac so mac are very optimized for final cut pro x number 2 if you are want totally free then you can use imovie number 3 is going to be the vinci resolve da vinci resolve is free and pretty good if you want to use your macbook air you can also use premiere pro adobe premiere pro but I will suggest you not to use Premiere Pro in this old devices even on latest devices Premiere Pro is not that optimized so that is a huge bummer anyway so if i talk about final cut pro x because i do not use other applications i just use final cut pro x and the vinci resolve for color grading but in this video in this kind of short video i just don't do any kind of color grading so i'm not going to talk about that thing but i'm going to talk about final cut pro x how well does it work on macbook air 2017 you can do three kinds of videos number 1 1080p 30 frames per second video and 60 frames per second video and you can go to 4k 4k 30 and 60 so basically that means four kind of videos so 6k 8k those are other things i'm not going to talk about those but i'm going to talk about 1080p 30 60 and 4k 30 60 so i never produce 4k videos on youtube so i just don't care about all those things but i care about 1080p 30 and 60 frames per second video so if you are editing 1080p 60 frames per second video then this macbook air 2017 is not that powerful because if your timeline is 10 minute then the 60 frames per second video will show you a lot of frame drops but if If it is 30 frames per second, then there will be zero frame drop. So you should understand that thing. So I basically make every video at 60 frames per second, and that is the reason I feel sometimes my memory is getting filled up. My laptop is pretty warm, so 1080p 60 frames per second video is not that well optimized on this MacBook Air because 1080p 60 frames per second videos takes twice as much frame than the 30 frames per second. So if you are sh shooting and editing 1080p 30 or even 24 frames per second, then this MacBook Air is going to perform the best in Final Cut Pro X. If you are shooting 4K or 1080p 60 frames per second video or even 4K 60 and beyond that, then this is going to be the worst device that you can purchase. But as if you are just doing light work, light video editing, small like wedding small wedding video editing photography editing like small photo animation editing those kind of things are very easily optimized like crossfade photo and these kind of things are very well done on this macbook air it is going to be uh, the best device you can buy for this kind of video editing small short video editing or youtube video producing then this macbook air 2017 is going to be performing very well in long term even these days you can get it without any questions so video editing on macbook air this was what i can say you that if you using final cut pro x if you are willing to use final cut pro x then this device is going to rock on you uh, at 1080p 30 and a little on 1080p 60 anyway so that is how well this device is to edit videos that was my personal experience uh, not a lot of b rolls c rolls uh, d rolls not other rolls but simple video i was just explaining how well the macbook air is and should you get it for video editing purposes then i'll say yeah you can get it pretty well 1080p 30 obviously go for this 1080p 60 think about one or two frame drops 4k just don't anyway that is all for this episode of tech flip if you guys really enjoyed be sure to subscribe be sure to press the bell icon and comment down if you have something on your mind as you can see i just reply your comment making a video anyway that is all for this one hopefully you guys really enjoyed be sure to subscribe be sure to like see you in another one till then goodbye